Hi, I am 3D here. Today I want to show you why this print here is super simple but also a little bit challenging. Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So I've recently designed this bikini accessory for my wife. I will attach some b-roll at the end of the video if you're curious. And I've come across this interesting setting in Orca Slicer that I want to show you. Okay, so let's begin by loading up the STL, which is free to download at the link in the description. And slice it up with standard settings with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and see what we get. Okay. As you can see, these little features by the edge of the wing are lost mostly and I don't want that so I want to try out the arachne wall generator instead of classic and see if it improves slice it up again and yes the situation has gotten way better I can now see the dots, all of them. But if we analyze it closely, we can notice a problem with the generation of the path of the external perimeter. Right around here. Okay, so the wall the external wall gets broken. Um, it creates this little dot of extrusion that basically will print midair, and that's not good. I already know that this print will turn out messy. So let's see if we can fix it by messing around with this setting here at the bottom at the bottom of the list minimum wall length to my knowledge this setting shows only in orca slicer in fact if we open up prusia slicer i can only choose between arachne and classic and there are no more settings and in bamboo studio under wall generator, the list stops at minimum feature size. So if what I've noticed is if I increase this value here to 1.5 millimeters, I get an unbroken external perimeter instead of that little extrusion dot midair and now I know that this print will turn out just fine with every small feature showing like I wanted and that's it guys I hope this was interesting and helpful and if any of you would have tackled the issue differently please let me know in the comments see you in the next one Bye.